guys, Hi, I'm a G-Pie. we're back. I'm a oh, here we go, the G Pie, the biggest corporate cocksucker in the world. You're probably were hoping us to say someone else. No, no, he's the biggest one now. And I especially appreciate some of your tweets. No, you don't. You just want to be like, oh, no, I, uh, they hate me. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Actually, a G-Pie reminds me of Pinocchio. Except instead of his nose growing when he flies, his head starts bobbling. Hashtag Pie Bobblehead. Trees, I find that really offensive. I all we, we really hate you, you condes. You just... Well... You fucking smug, arrogant dick, and we hope one day, we hope after all this, you get your comeuppance. Always tell the truth. At the beginning of 1776, G Pie, go back to Africa, where you came from. Now, that one was stupid. We're just not even gonna say that. We're not even gonna just dignify that tweet because that was dumb. We would have said. And G Pine, go back from the festering, stinking hole you came out of that made you into this slimy businessman like motherfucker that didn't want to listen to anybody because you're a fucking dick. Bugsy, that wouldn't fit on a tweet. It should fit on a tweet. You even English, bro? Can you even stop being a smug, arrogant dickbag and wonder why people hate you? But no, we're all fear mongering. We're all fear mongering because, oh well, we're fear mongering. No, we know we know that these fucking companies are gonna try and do everything they can to like seize the internet. I mean, Comcast is already doing that shit. They're starting to do that shit right now. It's exactly what we've all feared. And it ain't, and it's just about a time it's just a matter of time before Cox Cable does the exact same thing. You know, my internet provider. Because like I said, people, they don't like the companies don't give a damn about us. All they care about is squ squeezing the last bit of money from our lifeless bodies. That's what they care about. And I would look at more G Pies mean tweets, but nah, nah. I did that mostly in the in the first video, and pretty much he's just a smug, arrogant dick throughout. Goal is to encourage domestic investment by uh, and promote competition between internet service providers in the United States. Should we return to the uh, Clinton era? Uh, light, light touch, touch approach to the internet. internet. Uh, that, Senator, Senator, that is what the FCC has, has, pro uh, has proposed, proposed, and our goals, goals here, of course, are to preserve freedom of the internet that all of us cherish, and to promote the massive infrastructure and investment that is necessary to... You're lying through your teeth, motherfucker. Next, rural and urban Americans like the digital opportunity, and that's, that's what we're exploring in the context of the current proceeding. No, you're not. The system is working, yet Mr. Chairman, you're proposing to undo the open internet border. Uh, what is the problem, Mr. Chairman, that you are trying to fix? Thank you for the question, Senator. Uh, I think one of the concerns that we have raised is that these regulations might be dampening infrastructure investment. They might be, but there's no evidence of it. Well, there has been evidence raised, and that's part of the reason why we are testing this proposition in the context of the notice proposal. We're making some... No, you just want this passed so you can get about as much money as you can. You're not testing anything. And you, you're not attesting. You're not testing anything. You're just trying. You're just trying to. See, you're just trying to see if all that, all that is true. And if it is, you're not gonna tell anybody. And then you're gonna profit off of all of us. And it doesn't matter. How, it doesn't matter because I know Verizon and the other companies are paying you out the ass. And since I hear that Trump appointed you the, the uh, chairman of the FCC. You're gonna do everything you can. Slimy businessmen, people. Be afraid, not be afraid of them, but be ready to, be ready to deal with any kind of bullshit that comes their way. 
suggesting the FCC should simply, should simply issue a declaratory ruling, saying that the facts, facts and the law are so, and that's the way it's going to be, but we wanted to test this proposition in an open and public process. I, I think that the arguments I heard are, are not enough. Uh, I don't believe this is a, a left versus right issue or a Trump versus Democrats issue. Uh, I think that network neutrality helps, benefits, mm -hmm. not only consumers, but the vast majority of businesses. Net neutrality does not benefit the telecom providers, the cable providers, mm -hmm. but it does benefit everybody else in business. Now, what the telecom companies and the cable companies want is to collect money from people who are sending you information, like people like Amazon or Microsoft, and reorder it if Microsoft or Amazon pays the money. So if Amazon pays the money, its information is going to come to you first. If Microsoft pays the money, Microsoft's information is going to come first. Mr. Pike. See, and see, Mike drop. All I gotta say is that and I just don't like a G Pie and he's got ducks. And I'm kinda happy on one hand and on the other hand I know this is gonna hurt our cause. You know, but it is what it is. Personally though, I'm kinda happy that freaking I'm kinda happy that I'm kinda happy that but I am kind of happy that he did get done, even though it's kind of fucked up with me. But it is what it is. You know, when he did, the, when one of the, one of the, um, one of the, these two did a speech about against, well, saving, you know, people saving in net neutrality, it's not over yet, but, you know, they're like, it's not over yet, and, you know, all this stuff. And G. Pi just smirked and said, oh, we're fear-mongering, blah, blah, blah. He's been saying that for, like, months, and it really got on the nerves. We're not fear-mongering. We know what you guys are up to. We've been know what you guys are up to. Because half of, because Soper, Pip, and Actor were made to stop all of us. And they ne and the entertainment industry and the cable companies and all these other companies, they never let up. And neither did we. The thing is, G Pi basically was like, you know, we got these false, like, little claims that we got these false little comments. So we're basic. So we're basic. So every every little ounce of support isn't it wasn't true. And I'm like, bullshit. You just didn't want to hear it because you know you have lose. The thing is, guys, we had all the cards. We had the best hand. We had the best hand in the world. And a Jeep Pie was like, you know, before we could play it, a Jeep Pie was like, I fold. And then we had to get a new hand, a shittier hand. You know? We had all the cards in the deck, but it just wasn't enough. And I urge you guys to call your congressmen and tell them, tell them why net neutrality is important. Because if we don't, a Jeep pie is gonna win. We have a lot of states, you know, going to court against the FCC, but we do need more of that support. So you need, so you need to talk to your congressman, tell them like, hey. You need, you know, we. I'm gonna give you any of my votes. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't hear me out about net neutrality, you gotta do that, folks. Because I'm not giving up my internet just because, because a motherfucking, because a motherfucking mad TV, a mad magazine caricature is telling me no, no. I'm gonna fight this. I'm gonna fight this as long as. I'm going to fight this as long as I can, and, and so should you. That's all I'm saying, guys. The G Pie, again, from the bottom of my heart, 
And from the bottom of mine. And from the bottom of mine. The big three say the big three says this. Go fuck your self. Say it again, guys. Go fuck yourself. Ajit Pai. Go fuck yourself. Peeps, I hate this. I, I hate it. Well, I don't. Well, I do kind of hate a Jeep pie because he's just so slimy. That he's just waving it in our faces. Na 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 na. We got you. We got you. You can't have a free open internet. We basically won. So I'm gonna make a whole bunch of videos rubbing it in your face like a goddamn child. Basically, guys, we need to get on this, man. I'm, tr I'm like I'm serious, guys. Because I want because if, when we do get net when we do get net neutrality back, I want to see a Jeep Pie literally fucking lose his shit. I want to see this man beaten. Well, not literally beaten, but I want to see him beaten mentally. I want to see him go down. That's what I want. I'll I'll see you guys later. Remember, fight the good fight. We ain't done yet. A G Pie wants a a G Pie wants a wants a fight to the finish. We'll give it to him. But we're not gonna dox him anymore or do anything underhanded. We're going to do this by the book. You got me, folks. We can't fight dirty. Fighting dirty has only got us so far. We gotta fight by the book. See you guys later. Um, Bugsy, remember, folks, this is going on Friday. Keep it chaotic. I'll see. I'll see you guys for the. I'll see you guys for Saturday afternoon and Kingdom Hearts on set on Saturday. Be prepared, guys, because I'm ready. See you guys later. Bye, folks.